Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Matt Schull here. Today, we've got another banger for you. So as many of you know, I've been streaming on Twitch as this character named Carb. And recently, I've started getting in a groove with the basics of what I have, you know, being able to move Carb around, being able to have different camera views. But what I really want to get into is having Carb be able to interact with the environment around him so that he can trigger off things such as pressing a button and lasers firing or fireworks going off or whatever other animation or action I want to happen inside the universe that I'm creating. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna create a button. We're gonna figure out how to make the metahuman be able to uh, generate a collision overlap event with that button so that it looks like it presses the button down. And then from there, you can use it to trigger off what other animation you may want for your metahuman universe as well. All right, we are starting off in a project that we've worked on before. So this is the same project that we left off at in a previous video, and I'll make sure to link that in one of the corners and also make sure there's a link in the description. In that video, all we did was bring the MetaHuman into our project and make it where we could use the motion controllers to move the arms around and move the MetaHuman around. Today, what we're gonna do is place a button in front of our MetaHuman on this little cube here. So the first step we wanna do is in our content folder, we're just gonna create a new folder called button and go into it, right click again and choose blueprint class. We're gonna use a actor blueprint class and we're just gonna call this our button BP. I'm gonna go inside of that file and under the default scene route, we just want to click on add component and choose cube. This will be quite large. So over here, if you look right above my camera uh, on the scale, let's just make this 0 0.1 and that'll be more fitting. Um, and now if we want to, we can change the base. This will be our, our button base, not the actual button. Um, and we can come into uh, our texture here. If you look right to the right of me, I'm gonna click on the little magnifying glass and I'm just gonna copy this material. Have it go back to our button and then I'll paste this. And here I'm gonna rename it to um, base material. And then if I come back, I can go under the material and choose base material and then change the color of the base so that it's a different color from the actual button itself. So I'm gonna go in here, just kind of make it a dark gray color and save that. And I can click out of this and now we've got a dark gray cube there. Uh, what we can do next is under default scene root, let's click on add component again, choose another cube. This one needs to be smaller than our base, so I'm just going to scale it to 0.04. Um, and we can bring that up a little bit and see that's a little bit small. So let's click on our scale again. We can just kind of, oh, uh, let's use the right side over here. There we go. So we're just gonna kind of scale it to where it's still smaller than the base, but big enough that we can click on it with our metahuman hand. Um, and then I'm gonna move it up just a little bit as well, so that there's plenty of room for the button to look like it's moving down uh, whenever we press on it. So um, I'm gonna quickly Rename over here on the left side, rename cube to base, rename cube one to, oh, cube one to button. And then while selected, uh, while button is selected, let's go to add component and we're going to look up collision and choose box collision. And so you'll see that this box collision is already way too big we want it to cover just the button itself. And so we can scale it down quite a bit so that it's the size of the button. Uh, let's move it 
up a little bit. You can see it's still kind of large, larger than the button itself. Uh, but right there looks pretty good. Uh, so whenever our metahuman hand touches this collision box, which is overlapping in the same size as the button, uh, we're then going to have the button move down uh, a few degrees on the Z axis and then move up. And uh, real quick before we do that, I'm just gonna rename this collision box to be collision. Just helps with naming things later. And with that selected on the left side there, let's scroll down and you're gonna see uh, right under my video, there is an event called on component begin overlap. We're gonna click on that green button and it's gonna take us to our event graph inside of the button blueprint. And what we're gonna do here is outside of the other actor, we're gonna pull that out. And in my instance, what I'm trying to do is when it overlaps with my metahuman, my metahuman blueprint is called BP character Zachary. So you'll select the cast to whatever that blueprint is that you wanna overlap with. And outside of that, you're going to do a move component to node. And then where it says component uh, here, let me zoom in so it's easier to see. Uh, on the move component to, the component is actually going to be the button. So you, on the left side there, you can drag that button out, go here. Now what we can do is out of the target relative location, let's just pull that out and we'll do a vector minus vector. And then out of the button, we want to do a get relative transform node and right click on the return value and choose split structure pin. You're gonna connect the rel uh, return value location to the top one. And then the return value rotation should connect back to your move component two node. And we'll just make this look a little bit prettier. And then here on the vector minus vector, we want to put the number three for the Z axis because we want it to move the component down by three. After we've done that, we can select these nodes and click on C. And we're going to make this the move button down. It's always good to comment your code so that you know what does what. Oh, this one should not be in there. All right, so now we have the move button down area. We can copy these exact nodes. We'll go over here to the right and paste them. And out of this first move component to, once it's completed, uh, we want it to then move back up. And to do that, we're going to go into this vector minus vector and do negative three. So it's gonna move down three and then move back up three. And then I can select all these, click on C, and then name this move button up. Now let's compile and save. And we can click out of this and bring it into our scene here. I'm gonna move it on top of this cube so that it's easy to access. And then let's click on the Zachary character here on my MetaHuman and I'm going to edit the MetaHuman blueprint and come over here to the body area. And if I scroll down, you will find the collision section there. On the collision section, you wanna make sure to enable generate overlap events. And then on collision presets, we wanna change that to overlap all dynamic. Once we've done that, we can compile and save, and we are ready to try it out. So let's click on VR preview, and you can see what I'm seeing here on the screen. I'm just gonna move over to this button, and if my character touches the button, you see it moves down three degrees and moves back up three degrees. Uh, so pretty neat. So that's how we get a working button to uh, overlap with our metahuman. 
One of the things that you could use this for is to trigger off fireworks or to open doors or do any type of animation that you want to do inside of Unreal Engine. Personally, I'll be using this in the CARB universe to trigger off lasers out of the spaceship or to do certain things around the home base. So be sure to come over and check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Matt if you want to see how we implement it. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to join the Discord if you want to come hang out with us and talk with other people about Unreal projects or ask questions about Unreal projects. We're always uh, online over there at the Discord and I just appreciate all the support. See you in the next one.